Calling OpenAI GPT-3 from Microsoft Blazor. You can create a Microsoft Blazor application that can call OpenAI GPT-3 model. To understand what OpenAI GPT-3 is, we can use a program recently released by OpenAI called ChatGPT and we will get the response shown here. Note, at this time, it is not possible to call ChatGPT using Blazor and the API methods described later. However, that is expected to change in the near future. We can see what OpenAI is capable of, with images, by using DALL-E, a 12 billion parameter GPT-3 model trained to generate images from text, at labs.openai.com. We can type in this prompt. And receive these images. Note, these are not images of real people, they are computer generated. We can select an image, and select edit image. We can use the eraser tool to remove parts of the image, update the prompt and click the generate button. We receive four images that alter the erased part of the image with four variations of a smile. We can also start with a real image and alter it. In this example I use the eraser tool to remove my glasses and the prompt to add sunglasses. Call an OpenAI from Microsoft Blazor. The first step is to get a key. Go to openai.com slash API and click sign up. Navigate to beta.openai.com slash account slash org hyphen settings and copy your organization ID. If you did not receive an API key as part of the sign up process, navigate to beta.openai.com slash account slash API hyphen keys and create a new one and save it, you will need it later. You will initially be given $18 in credits that will expire if and used after a few months. After that, these are the prices to call the various models. DaVinci is the most powerful and will be the one used in the following examples. For image generation and editing, these are the current prices. To create the Blazor application, open Visual Studio. Select Create a New Project. Select Blazor Server App and click Next. Name it GPT-3 Blazor and click Next. Select .NET 7.0 and click Create. Right click on the project node and select Manage NuGet Packages. Search for and install the batalgo.openai.gpt3 NuGet package. Right-click on the project node and select Manage User Secrets. Add your organization and API key in this format. Note, if deploying to production you can put these settings in the app settings file. Just keep them out of your source control because it can be costly if they get out. Open the program file. Add this using statement. Add this code after var builder equals web application. Create builder, args. Open the index page. Replace all the code with this code. This creates a text box to capture the prompt, a button to call the service, and a label to display the response. Add this code for the code section. This code grabs the organization ID and the API key from the configuration, the secrets file, and passes the prompt to the service, it then returns the result. When we run the application, we can enter a phrase in the text box, click the call the service button, and receive a response where the AI logically completes the sentence. To manipulate images, create a new page called Simple Image and place a link to it in the nav menu page. Replace all the code with this code. This creates a text box to capture the prompt, a button to call the service, and a markup string tag to render the HTML to display the images returned. Add this code for the code section. This code grabs the organization ID and the API key from the configuration, the secrets file, and passes the prompt to the service, it then returns the result. 
The result is a list of URLs to images that have been placed in Azure Storage. When we run the application, we can enter a phrase in the text box, click the Call the Service button, and receive a response. The Blazor markup string tag renders the HTML of the URLs to images, 